Hey guys, Charles here. Today I'll be showing you guys how to program your Now robot using Python. I'm also going to show you how to install your Now Q libraries. Um, now, before we kind of go ahead and get started, I want to go to clear something off the table. All these links that I'll, that we'll be visiting today put in the description uh, down below for you. This entire tutorial is basically telling you everything from scratch as if this is your first time doing it. So if you guys do have any um, previous Python uh, Python um, applications, please remove it. Um, the best way to do that is just go to add remove Python programs. And this tutorial will be basically um, will be taught on uh, for the Windows OS. So you can just go here and type in Python. Now I already installed um, everything on my computer. So I'm just going to show you guys what to, what you should and should not do. So uh, I just if you guys have any type of Python application, just uninstall it. Um, if you have any uh, Python 3, anything, just uninstall all that stuff um, because that's not going to help us uh, for this uh, now Q library because it is a little bit delicate. And um, unless you are kind of experienced, I suggest um, we'll just start on a fresh table and making sure everything is uh, very nice and clean. All right, awesome. So guys, um, this is the uh, uh, Python SDK installation guide. Again, all these links will be in the description below. Um, so the first step, it says um, Python. Make sure your Python 2.7 uh, version is there. So let's go ahead and head over to uh, Python. Python.org. Okay, then you're going to go to Downloads. Click on Windows. Click on latest Python 2 release, Python, uh, click this one right here. Um, and the, your, the last number really doesn't matter. It just um, it just fixes bugs. What really matters is the two, that uh, 2.7 right there, Python 2. That's that that's the one that um, now robot is programmed on. After you go ahead and download your Python, uh, just make sure that it is properly installed. And during your installation process, there will be a button that says add to path it's very very important that you select that if you don't see that if you don't see that menu or you didn't select it that's totally okay you don't have to un uninstall and reinstall it again we can fix it the best way to do that is just go to environment edit the system environment variables we go here and we go to environment and variables and this is basically the command the control center where we can go ahead and control um, path where we can con control um, paths to information. So what I mean by this is if you go ahead, go to click on this where it just says path, double click on it. You guys should see it's, it should say C drive Python 27, C Python 27 scripts. It's very important. Your uh, screen looks exactly like my screen right here. And if it doesn't, if it doesn't have any of these two, you can just quickly go to add new and you can add them just like so. Okay, so since they're already here for me, I'm not gonna do that. So just go ahead and press okay, okay, okay. Go ahead and make sure that your idle, the Python idle is A-OK. -okay. Two plus two. All right, we get a four, awesome. And then we're just gonna do another sanitary check in our command prompt, and we're just gonna say Python and it should say the, your version and everything like that. If it doesn't say, that just means that um, those those two, the paths in the environment variable for Python, um, they're not there um, or they were wrong. So you just gotta make sure um, you get that right. And then um, let's just say import, um, well, actually we're gonna wait on that, okay? So cool, so our Python is there and I guess we can go play some maths. Okay, there we go, awesome guys. Now, uh, what we're going to go ahead and uh, do is for, I highly recommend this um, for any person who has Python on their computer to install this library. It's called NumPy. And to do that, it's really simple. Just go in command prompt and type in pip install NumPy. Now, I already installed NumPy, but I'm just going to uninstall it. And install it again so just to show you guys all right then then we're gonna install um, uh, M numpy pip install numpy and 
there we go. NumPy is there. And we're just going to check that saying Python import NumPy. And you should get nothing returned. That means the, or the library is successfully installed, the NumPy library, which is good. Awesome. So now, guys, uh, let's go. Now we have Python um, correctly installed. Now let's go back to our installation guide and see our next step. So now it says a uh, now queue for Python. And uh, we need to go ahead and in get this uh, SDK, the now queue SDK. Unfortunately, the links that given on the on the website, um, the old community um, Aldebaran website is not there. They shut it down, but they have a new website. And I put the link in the description below. Uh, here it is right here. You can go to development center and click on now six, just this one right here. Now, if you have an older version of now, now four, version four or five, that's A-OK. -okay. You can still uh, follow these steps and um, just go to, you know, um, you can still use this now QSO, uh library. So just go to downloads, windows, click on this Python, SDK, Python 2.7, Win64. Okay. Um, now, once you guys, um, so once you guys go ahead and download this, you would be directed to a large, uh, you would be directed to a zip file, all right? Uh, what you wanna do is, um, before you extract anything from the zip file, go ahead and, so here's our zip file, right? You wanna go ahead and just rename the zip file to something else that's identifiable, that, that you can easily identify. So, um, as you can see, I already kind of did it. Again, I'm just kind of showing you guys how to do it. So, um, something that you can easily identify. Okay, click here and extract all. Once you extract all, just make sure you rename um, all these uh, large uh, uh, file folder names. The reason why we do that is because um, eventually we would have to kind of get the path of these folders because we're gonna put it somewhere I'm gonna show you later. And if the file names are so big, it's just going to, it, we might have the risk of some, the file, of one library or something in the folder might not, um, like, might not move properly, it could get damaged. A lot of things can happen. So just to simplify the process and just make, make our lives easier, just go ahead and rename the file. So something very nice, short, and sweet. Awesome. So why don't you guys go ahead and, um, um, extracted all the files what we are going to do is i'm just going to show you real quick where we're going to go ahead and put these files so first up you're going to go to your c drive you're going to go to python 27 then you're going to go to lib then you're going to go to site packages and in so in this site packages these are all the libraries which uh you which um which Python actually has and this is where we're gonna go ahead and add that uh, pi now Q library Okay, so let's go ahead and go back to our downloads again Imagine that this file here is all extracted. It's an open folder. You're gonna Take that and put put that into site packages Okay um, Now if you guys don't have this quick access uh, uh, if you don't don't have the quick access, that's a okay. You can just kind of drag and slowly drag and drop that bootcamp folder to there, uh, to the Python lib site packages, and just just add it right here. Okay, as you can see, I already added. This is my um, renamed file folder right here. Okay, you can also use a move to if you guys want to. Awesome. So when you guys reach, when you guys go ahead and successfully put that folder into your site packages, what you're going to do is go ahead and double click on this and click on lib. Okay. You should see something like this. We are going to copy the path of, this is called a path. And um, to do that, to copy the path, you can just go to this empty space right up there and you can copy this. Now what the path does is it's basically like a navigation, a guide of whenever like software wants to access information on your computer. When you give it a path, 
uh, a path value. It'll basically uh, it'll help. It'll basically tell the software where the information is being stored on your computer. So um, f if if now Q or any of our libraries, um, they're not like uh, if the path is not properly named or easily identified, then it'll give an error. So the path is very very important. Quick, do a quick control C. We're just gonna go ahead and copy that. And just um, hang on a sec. I just want to show you guys the next step on the installation guide, which is right here. Uh, set the following environment variables. So here is our Python path and this. All we're doing is basically setting up a direct path for where the all the libraries are in our Py now queue to um, basically tell python like hey whenever i want to use this function this is where it is i'm just going to go ahead and call and make all the calling stuff much much easier so to do that it is very very easy just go to environment variables okay go to environment variables here and you're going to go ahead and click on new then you're going to say in all capital letters python path and you're going to go ahead and make sure uh you put your uh, value right here please make sure that your path is um 100 percent um you know as very as it is very close uh to my path right here other than maybe this might be different but even then i've if, if i were you i would still kind of copy the exact same thing this is exactly how your value your path should be nothing else different okay then you're gonna go ahead and click okay but i am not because i already have that installed uh, right here so after you do that um just while you're here i guess you might as well check your path make sure you're you have these two uh paths here for your python uh, 27 uh, ide okay then um click ok click ok again now let's go ahead and uh test this out so let's go to command prompt and we're gonna say py py python and let's just go ahead and do a a sanitary check on a library that we do know should be working, which is numpy, but it is working. Now let's just go ahead and say import nao qi, and there we go. We don't get anything back. There's no returns, which means that um, the library was successfully installed. Now, guys, if you do get some error, like so, not like so. <laughs> uh, one sec. Give me a sec. Uh, let's just delete this. Okay. So let's just say that that path was wrong. I just deleted it just to prove my point, right? You, someone might get a, something like this. We do our normal sanity check. Okay, nothing back. That's good. But when you say QI, oops, I totally forgot. Let me redo this. Python. You see, it says new module named uh, NAQ because the path, um, the path, the path, the path is not good. So let's we'll just quickly add that ba path back in. Um, environment variables. We'll say new. We'll say Python path, and add this in right there. Say okay 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 let's go ahead start our thing again import numpy import oops yeah see so we didn't get anything right just want to make sure uh, i didn't spell import right cool bingo all right all right guys so you should, um, it's all about the path, and if you get your path right and you, you do all the steps exactly what I do, what I just showed you, you guys should be just fine. But if you guys don't get this and you get some other weird error, just go ahead and ask a question. Just go ahead and um, ask the question down below in the comment section, and I'll get back to you as soon as possible. And let's just say, um, if you're a half a decade uh, later watching this uh, video, um, 
like, I don't know, five years later from this published date, it might take some time for me to kind of go back and uh, answer your comments. But I will try my best to help every uh, anyone that, um, you know, has any issues. All right. Hang on, guys. We're not done. Um, now, I just want to go ahead, go to uh, my Python idol. I just want to make sure that it's happy here, too. So I'll just add a new file. I'm going to save it. Let me just save it as, um, I'll say doc, just put some random file. I'm just testing stuff. Um, okay, let's just say import uh, numpy. I'm going to just say import math because why not? And then we're going to go say import NeoQ. And boom, let's just save that right there. Go to run, run module. And there, as you can see, we didn't get any errors in our show, which means everything matched. Um, the show, everybody can see. And everybody's happy. Great job. Now, what I want to do is show you guys something cool. This page right here, I'm going to put it down in the description below. Um, it's basically the NA, uh, the now software uh, documentation for code. And if you go to hit Python examples, here are all the different stuff that you can use uh, in the library and if you just say move and walk here's our example code that's given here are the libraries and uh, this is the correct format you need to use when using this now queue um, library is importing this al proxy library what that does is basically initialize uh, very important functions that allow your now to do the basic things it would normally do in choreograph uh, like uh, the motion and uh, let's see posture proxy it just um, initializes that entire uh, library. This is very, very important in order if you want to configure your now in any way, shape, or form. So let's just um, make sure that that works here. Okay, run module. And boom, it's good. So there we are. Um, another thing. Um, Let's just see. Um, so I would import all this and show you into the, in the Python thing, but I don't have my now with me right now, so there's no way for me to really connect to it. Um, but um, uh, but it should work, and I will I will go ahead and post a part two video. Um, I'll also link it down below uh, once that gets released. Uh, just ex just just showing you guys. Um, and just a, a simple code that I kind of did with the now and showing you guys the now actually how it moves and um, any other quick troubleshooting things um, that anyone kind of comes across will be in that second video. Um, but yeah, guys, um, that's that, that, that's about it. Um, if you guys have any questions, uh, any concerns, questions, anything like that, please go ahead, uh, put it down below in the comment section. I'll get to it. I'll answer it. And um, that's it. See ya. Bye.